I will show that reminder of where we're putting these numbers. Now, I should have really just sacrificed another practice goals form because I have written down the assignments from... Um, I can. I have a back. Sweet. So our first assignment was 2.1.1, and you already have a score written down for that that we are not going to change because we're going to be honest. We took that score, we divided it by 2, and we calculated our percent. Some of us had 100, some of us had 50, some of us had 0. Your second homework, 212, that you're looking at right now, the number you put on your effort line. That's the number you put over here, and we need to write 212. So let's say I only get a 1. Right? Let's say I only did half my homework, I ran out of time, or I forgot. Now I have a 3. When I do 3 divided by 4, now I would have a 75% because I goofed up a little bit. So everybody should be doing that right now. When I come around, I should be able to see your number. And then you decide what questions you might want to ask. Wait, should we just do the total points earned divided by the total points possible? possible? Yep. Okay. I might as well start over here since you've got more information. What is this for one? Hey guys, we might, I'm debating on if we want to go ahead and reset this here on Monday when we keep checking homeworks, like the new homeworks on Monday, because some of you are realizing like, oh man, if I goofed up on one homework and there's only four of them, it, it matters. So what number do you give yourself for one? I saw some people in the family room working on their homework like uh, this morning, which was great. There's... Should we turn ours in after? No, we will turn homework in on Friday. Yeah, no. So wait, is oh, it, is click it... right one more. Sorry. Okay, I, I was like, this doesn't look homework. right. It's making a weird. There it goes. There we go. Here we go. Sweet. So I think this is probably a two, right? You put in complete effort. There's the answer. You can either check your answers. I think that that would be a two. So we're checking it right now. That two that I just told you you earned, you put there. Right now your total points are two. Your percent should really be at fifty percent. That should be at fifty percent since you had a zero on the other one. I missed you. 
No, it's not. That doesn't belong in this one either. Neither does the up. Are you using this in math and language arts? Did this somehow happen accidentally? No, what happened is like none of that should be in that language. Hey, if you don't have your Chromebook open, you should. I realize some people did not see that on the first screen. We're finishing Desmos. Oh, you classified them under I see what you did. You did quite so this one is not what I meant was wait for me. Because it was on two two two, it's on last and that's why I was for wait for me to go to the this. It's probably the one. Right? I think that probably brings us the one because you didn't get it done in the year. Look around. I don't know. So I, don't know. I, don't I don't think you did necessarily. Not like what about in your creative start? Hey, did anyone find a pencil case when you showed up in here? Yeah, sorry, but I, I don't know. You need to go to class right now. It doesn't matter. But we're spending too much time looking, so we'll find it eventually. Trust me, I'm sure. Nothing at Phoenix has ever been not found. Doesn't matter. He needs to get to class. Um, is Maddie here today? Like Moss? Yeah. Oh, there. You weren't there when I walked around first. All right. So with the scaling on twenty nine and thirty, guys, if you're given the x and y axis, it still works the same way as if you only have one axis. So two one two. You know, you find it better than you would with one two. Work out with four four two. So did we write down that it was supposed to be? Because this is a zero, right? So that's a zero. Just go ahead and put a zero. Can you put up? So the thing we're doing in class is one question from the last that was homework. Uh, examples from class we did in class. This was your practice. Hi, did you find your binder? You gotta figure that out, man. What's it look like? All right, Ivan is missing his math binder. It is black and it has his name on it. Please, 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 please be on the lookout. All right, I'm going to text the teaching team just to make sure if it's sitting in anyone's classroom that they, like, let me know to send you there. Ivan is missing his black math binder. It does have his name on it. Please let me know if you see it. Thank you, exclamation point. Thank you, exclamation You got to punctuate. All right, questions about the homework. I just realized I'm I'm in my YouTube video voice to texting. Like it's just there's so much technology these days. Questions about the homework. If you go and you look at my answer key, I show some conversions. But we can also use a calculator. Can I please have Isaac Bumgardner to the Perry office for a moment? Isaac. So technically 
And I think a couple of you had this incorrect. Technically, A and D both repeat. B and C both terminate. So if you ever want to double check, we can type these into our calculator and figure it out that way. On the back, and guys, again, this is all on Schoology, so you can go back and look at it if you need to fix these things. Hey, look at me, because some of you still haven't heard me. Your homework is getting turned in on Friday. It should be done by the time you turn it in, so it's a check. I don't want to put in check minuses. And I might even make this a mastery assignment where it's just if you have them all done, it's mastery. If you don't have them all done, it's progressing, and then take care of it, and it will turn into a mastery. Because that's what Mr. Hall does. I'm kind of trying to steal some ideas from him as I'm trying to become a better teacher. Your homeworks, 211, 212, 221, and 222 are getting turned in Friday if they're done. Can you repeat the ones you just said? All the ones in red up on that board. The ones that are due during this week. Right? So whatever's due this week, that is due this week, just on Friday instead of those days. So guys, this ranking system, this, this goal setting, this is for you. This is for you to assess, am I doing what I need to do? Now, it also might come up in conferences or things like that to be able to put, like, what was our goal? Did we work towards it? Did we actually give a crap? And if not, why set a goal to begin with? Ivan, even though you don't have your binder, you need to be focusing on what's happening. Any questions on the homework or are we ready to move on? My dot camera is starting to do what I do as the school year moves on and just kind of start to not be able to hold itself up. Which one's busy out right now again? Now, because you can put 212 away. So now what you need out will bounce back to here. Let's look at 221 because I goofed. Now, what's funny is if you look at my answer key, I have a star next to this problem indicating to myself I goofed up. And guess who didn't go back and look at their notes and realize they needed to change things? This guy. So, my bad, the graph that we're supposed to be looking at is right here. Wow. If you cannot figure out where A, B, and C are, that's why we're going to go over this together. Coordinates. Coordinates. Where are our two O's next to each other? Coordinates. Hey guys, I don't know why people are talking. Like, I'm, I will let you explain to the class what they are. You shouldn't just be turning and talking to your neighbor. Who can help me know what, if I'm going to write out a coordinate, what goes in the parentheses? Mario? Uh, so you put the, like, so let's say you're trying to find, I don't know, for... Let's say we're trying to find A. Okay. Most well, you go, down. you go to the left where you always say, um, like, um... So the left, no, right, what is that called? Our X and then our Y. So guys, A, we're looking at this because we're doing it together. A on 240 says the coordinates X and Y values for point A are negative 3, 5. They tell you it's negative 3, 5. What, explain how these numbers tell you the position. So your answer for A, I don't know why I don't see pencils in here. Could be left three up uh, five. Now I think Margo's saying, well, I already did that. I didn't need a graph to do that. If you're given the point negative three, five, you know. And Margo's saying, well, that's left three up uh, five. So for B, so flip through that. So for, that's really funny, because then B says name the coordinate x, y for points A and B, and they just gave you the coordinates for A. All we need to do is coordinates for B. What are our coordinates for B? Anyone willing to help me? Christian? Uh, negative 5 and negative 9. 
negative 5, and then also negative 5. So, yeah, negative 5, negative 5. There's no way you can get that wrong. Whoa. There's a lot of ways I could get that wrong. Like, because sometimes people tend to, like, flip them when they're doing it. Yeah. So but what if I misread the graph and my brain when I'm tracking up goes to, like, there's a lot of ways my I could get that wrong. Misc? No, I just want to answer the question. Okay, fine. What's the coordinate of C? Because I that like I know that's not on the paper, but I'm gonna do that since we're talking about coordinates. What's the coordinates of C? Or do you wanna let Gabe do that one? No, I'll do it. Okay, where is it? Four and negative two. Four negative two. Now nothing asks you that, but that would be four negative two. Then part C. Guys, we're doing your homework right now, too. So, Roth, if you're not writing this down, I'm confused. If Samantha moved point A, point A, nine units down, and... Wait, wait. So, is it nine units to the right, or is it, like, nine? Or is it, like, a different amount of units? Well, guys, this is a, yet again another goof because I'm a human trying to do too many things. Look at this. Nine units. Hold on. We'll go back to the graph. Nine units down. And Now, wait. If you were doing your homework and you were like, okay, Hudson goofed. I can figure this out on my own. Where might you go to see what the book was trying to ask, Alex? No. You would go to the book. You... Go to the book, like the ebook, right? Like online, or you can go to homework help, but you go to the book. Now, luckily, I got smart and realized I don't need you guys to lug around textbooks all year long. So if you want one, I have them. They're in a closet. If you really want a book, I'll give you one. But how many units to the right? Six. So everybody on your paper, put a little carrot. And... Six units to the right. Six units to the right. At what point would she end up? Okay, so we're going to go nine units down. Where will that land us? Negative four. Negative four, right? Because if we go nine down from five... We go nine down, so we're now at negative four, but then if we go six to the right, well, crap, this was, wait, let's do a dotted line. Guys, you could, like, if if somebody had actually put this on your paper, you could draw on it. So nine down, but then six to the right, where am I going to land? Three, so I'm going to erase this, and this new point would be... Negative four, positive three. I love math. It's fun. You have, you have really good brains. We do have really good brains. We do the 40 on the other side. What do you mean? Because the three and then the x axis. Say it again. The three is the three on the x axis. Okay, this is wrong. Oh. This is wrong. Oh, yeah, I was waiting for someone to call me out, and Lily's going to get the piece of candy after class. Why is this wrong, Lily? Because the three's on the x-axis. The three is our x value. The x value always comes first. So even though we did the y first, they told us, they told us the y first. We gotta write the x first, so this would actually be three comma negative four. Watch out for that trap. That's the trap a lot of you try to fall into. Is switch your x and y around. That's where I am. There's a trick. Um, it's like go, you go over here. You run before you jump. Oh wait. Yeah, I heard about that. That's Hey, this is what I haven't heard. You go over to your friend's house and then up to like their room, the attic, whatever. Like most. Like, I lived on the third floor. I technically lived in the servants' quarters because my house is super old, so that's a whole thing. But yeah, my house is 200 years old, actually. So not my house, my parents' house. 
It old is, uh, I mean, maybe good for you. Sometimes old houses aren't great. So, 221, the one we just worked on, should be done tomorrow. If it's not, make a note in your head, I need to do this. All right, so on your Chromebook, if you did not hear my multiple announcements asking you to get your Chromebook out. I'm just going to get it out because my battery's at a low percentage. Well, you could have gotten it out and plugged it in. Well, it's like my home one, yeah, so it's definitely hard. Do you have your charger with you? Do you want to use my loaner? Like my loaner Chromebook. I'm pretty sure it'll last me. But what if you need your Chromebook in another class? And you don't have your then charger with you. Well, okay. I'm trying to solve your problem for you. Um, we're gonna use something similar to that here in this class. So you could hang on to it, or you could remake it when we make it in this class. So we yesterday were on our floats and anchors activity, and that is what you should be getting back to. So Raphael, do you want to open your computer? We're getting on Desmos. Chromebook to do some Desmos. Do, do the Desmos. A lot of us were right about here, like at four or five. So guys, be careful. I'm not going to call out who you are yet, but a lot of you have wrong answers on slide six. A lot of you have wrong answers on slide six which is this one. A lot of us have, so guys, check that you're marking all that apply. Every answer that could get us back down to zero to see the turtle. Now back on slide one, what was it that we did to get from our negative one up to zero. What did we do with like the floats and the anchors? Can anyone remind me what we did on slide one? How did we get this up to zero? What did, like click on slide one, tell me what you answered. Alex? Add, one float. Add a float. Now what, so my floats and my anchors right now are, are they the same or are they different? They're the same. They're equal to each other. And that is how we get to zero. Oh, we could add as many anchors and floats as we want as long. Aha. That's the learning target. All right, am I missing anyone? No, I think we got everybody in now. So Keegan and Alex, go ahead and move on to your the slides that you were at. Yeah, I know I asked you to go back to slide one, but we can move on now. Um, you shouldn't need the code again, Raphael, but I will give it to you. Give me just a second and I'll... You got it? Okay. Um, Donovan, Alex, Gabe, and Addy. You might want to go back and check your slide six. Um, Misk, you might want to check your slide five. Uh, if I didn't call your name, it, it at least shows as fine right now. So real quick, real quick, let's look at some of our different answers from slide four that was this, right? And we needed to get to the shark, right? And people drew some pictures because we had the drawing tool. But let's look at the answers that we gave. So add three anchors, remove three floats, or remove both. Use anchors and air, so probably like floats, right? to make it stay at zero. If we take off three floats, the sub goes down three. Ooh, I love this one. If we take off three floats, the sub goes down three units, and then we'll be at zero. You could lift the anchors. You could also add floats and remove anchors. You could get rid of all of the anchors. Um, so different strategies, right? Does that mean that some people are right and some people are wrong? Maybe, but could we all be right? Yeah, 
You could all be right and use different strategies. So when we get over here to float six or slide six, we're trying to get from where are we at to back to zero. We don't know. We don't know what is going on, but we need to pull it down two units. So you need to select everything that will pull us down two units. Take another minute or two and then I'll pull us back together. Yes. I feel like you might have an answer. No, so with sorry, with where it is right now. We know that there are two extra floats because it is floating too higher than it should be. So what we need to do, so, oh, sorry, the sub is floating two units too high, but the floats and anchors are hidden. What of the, hey, sorry, my brain is in a different place, and I think I said this poorly. It's asking which of these combinations could be on board. And then we can figure out what to do. But if we're answering which of these combinations could be on board, it does it have more floats or more anchors? Well, it's got more floats. By how many? Two. two. So it could just have two floats. What other options work here? Addy? Is, does that give us two extra floats? Uh, no, that would float us higher than this even. So that would take us up to... Probably four, I think, if it was six floats and two anchors. So good thought. That is extra floats. But we just need two extra floats. Um, Jana, I don't think we've talked yet today. Yeah. Um, four floats and two anchors. Does that give us two extra floats? Yeah, yeah that one. Yeah, so four, like, minus two. Ivan? Uh, ten floats and eight anchors. Ten floats and eight. Is that two extra floats? Uh -huh. Yeah, because it's like ten minus eight. No, what about six and four? Because that's two extra. What, what, Keegan? Oh, this is two extra negatives instead of two extra positives. So I think these three and just those three. How many, how much does one anchor make the, the sub go down? One unit. Oh, only one unit. Yep. Time. And we don't really know what the units are, but we could call them like, like ocean units or elevations in the ocean or. How long do we have? In here? 55, side. only 10 more minutes. So I need you to get out graph paper in the next minute or two. Because I don't want to pause the activity right now, but if you don't have graph paper out, we need graph paper out. So guys, get graph paper out. Get graph paper out. Graph paper out, Donovan. Today is one of the days where I didn't make you a notes page like I did last week. You're going to need to make your own. So I get graph paper out for you. You can get that if you want. That's the tough slide. Like, that slide's kind of tough. So, nine objects cannot be even, but wait, are there any already on it? Like, because what your brain might be saying is... So, which slide are you looking at? So, in slide seven, right, are there already some floats and anchors? So we're going to put nine more objects, wow. right? We're going to put, so this, it needs to total up to nine, but we're going to do nine more objects. Sorry, for those of you that are still working on the Desmos and now mad at me. Sorry, kind of sorry. Um, not really that sorry, because we need to write this stuff down. On your graph paper, what do I want you to do? 
How am I the only one? No, you can take your computer out. I'm the only one pause. It probably just is going to take a second for their computer to catch up. Oh, Miska. Hey, it doesn't matter. We're doing this no matter what. And if Miska is somehow not paused and she doesn't write this down, it's just going to not be great for her. Absolute value. Absolute. And guys, I'm sorry. Today is the day of me, like, showing you guys I'm not a robot. I'm definitely a human. I forgot to put this in your chapter two notes. Ivan, I need your attention because otherwise your homework will be very difficult. On your graph paper, absolute value. Now, different people have all sorts of, like, clever slash silly ways of remembering this. I even have a poster where it's in jail, right? There's all sorts of silly ways to remember this. But all you need to remember is three words. That's it, three words. Well, aside from absolute value. Those three words? I love cheese, but not. Now, the other words that everyone is going to want to tell you, that is kind of the trick. If I start to go on, and I start walking out to the parking lot, it's probably about 100 feet to get out to my car, right? So if I walk out to my car, I've gone 100 feet, and then I realize I forgot my sunglasses, which normally sit right beside my microphone. So I turn around, and I head back into the building. Am I traveling a negative distance? No. No. Exactly. Because here's if, going back. if the school is zero, and you're walking 100 feet this way, that's your distance is negative. 100 or something. Or so, whatever. yeah, wh whether I went positive or negative, it's 100 something, right? Or, or something 100. So, guys, distance. Guys, think about your Fitbit, your smartwatch, your whatever. Will it ever subtract steps? No. We cannot go back in time. If, if you figure out how to go back in time, hold on, everyone, look at me. If you figure out how to go back in time, you must come back here to October 5th, 2022, at 10.50 a.m. Then we can prove them All right, wrong. so I don't think any of you learned how to time travel, right? Because if so, you'd be here right now. You would have time traveled back. We can't go. Hey, I, I don't have to say those silly things, but I like to. But if you can't, like, come back, I can't. You cannot go back in time. You cannot go a negative distance. Act, even if you're going the wrong way, that's not a negative distance. You went distance the wrong way. So if we think about the lab that we just did in Desmos, compared to the shark, where is the sub? I think it was five. I don't think it was five. It's at three. So the absolute value, we use these bars. So on your paper, right, a vertical bar, three, and a vertical bar. How far away from the shark are we? Three. And a lot of you are like, well, duh, three is three away. Where are we for the turtle? Two. What is the absolute value of two? Two. We're two away from the turtle. Where are we at for the fishy? Negative one. Negative one. What is, am I calling on people, Misk? Just say it. Oh. One. Oh. Oh. This is why Hudson oh. makes his ones fancy. Because absolute value bars and ones look way too similar. Now it might make sense to you why I make the fancy one. If you don't, hey. If you don't, you just need to make sure your absolute value bars are taller than your numbers. How far is negative one, one away? One. It's one away. This is where your parents or your siblings are going to tell you, oh, just make it positive. But guys, be careful because that, that actually, if there's a negative in front of it, 
it's like the trap door is not every absolute value problem comes out to be positive. But yes, the absolute value bars make what's inside of it positive. So if we come down here to our penguin that some of us haven't made it to, where's the penguin at? It's two. Two. What's the absolute value of two? Two. 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 Where's the sub at? Uh, negative three. Negative three. What's the absolute value of negative three? Three. Three. That's it. That's all you need to know. That's absolute value. Number. Distance from zero. That's it. That's very easy. However, on your practice, I know there's always a however. On your practice, it's not that simple. Why? So this is on your worksheet. Yeah, this is on your worksheet where it says absolute value in, in capital, or not capital, but bold underline. So you should be looking at 222, getting ready to go dance. Absolute value. Guys, absolute value works like parentheses. We have to do what's inside of it before we apply the bars. That's why we need to do a couple of these before you guys get out of here. Like before we apply the make it positive. So what's negative 20 minus 5.3? If we're at negative 20 and you go down further, be negative 25.3 still in your absolute value bars. How far would that be from zero? 25.3. Can we go negative distances? No. No. So how are we going to write this? 25.3. Positive 25.3. To take away the bars, you make what's in it positive. But you got to do what's inside of it first. So for B, we got to add first. What's 45 plus 7.7? .7? Yeah, so absolute value of 52.7. How far would that be from zero? 52.7. Hey guys, hold on. Here's your trap door. If you have stopped paying attention, please come back. What's 8 plus 81? But how this gets copied down is now the negative symbol still out front. Now the inside of it is 89. Guys, what's the absolute value of 89? 89. 89, but this negative is still here. So this comes out to be negative 89, even though it's an absolute value problem. The answer can be negative if there's a negative out front. All right, that's all the time we got for today. I just threw my pen into the abyss. Have a wonderful day, guys. I do not know what has happened, but I do not enjoy it. It's some kind of screech. Oh my god, it's something hurting my ears. I literally, I know what I'm doing. And now, it's like what I hear when.